Well, hello everyone. Thought I'd uh, give you an update of what's been going on in my shop. Well, you can see I took the body off again. <laughs> and uh, what there is, is there's a lot of work on the underside of the subframe. I haven't even touched it, so I gotta get underneath it, sand all the rust out, you know, epoxy primer it, all that stuff. Get that ready to put the body back on for a final time, hopefully. Um, what I did also, so I've been working on my firewall and you know I did a bunch of modifications, filled up a bunch of holes in there. I had parts where the, you know, you could see the weld marks and stuff so I filled it up with some Bondo. It's not perfect, flat or anything like that. It's not really what I'm going for but I didn't want to see all the little weld holes and marks and stuff so you know it's better than it was. It's not like a show car thing or anything but it's good um, also turn it over here for you that little piece right there is the mount for my throttle pedal assembly I've been working on that I took the throttle pedal assembly out of my donor car 39 Ford and uh, what I did is I sectioned it narrowed it up um, to where the gas pedal portion would be where I want it and then the arm portion would go through the firewall through that hole right there to the throttle um, but that's as far as I got I've gone on that I don't want to cut the length of the pedal arm or the throttle arm yet until I get everything in there and I could do that I wanted this done because I had to weld it on and I wanted to get it welded on before I paint so that's what I did so anyway that's the I epoxy primered it uh, fill the rough spots with Bondo and then I'll put another coat of epoxy primer on that and that'll be good on that um, The frame I've decided while I got the body off when I had the body on I I still want the body a little lower um, I'm using the stock Model A spring. I reversed the eye on it on a press um, And I took out leaves. I believe there's eight in there right now and I'm going to take out like three more, at least three. Um, and that'll lower it a good, probably another inch or more, probably a little more than an inch. Um, and uh, it's pretty stiff. For those shocks on there, I could bounce on the back and the suspension wasn't really moving much. So I know the shocks are probably st too stiff for it, but I'm going to, I want it lower anyway, so I'm going to try the leaves first. And that's what's going on. So I'm going to get at getting the bottom of that subframe prepped. Okay, way back when I had to uh, cut out this area of the subframe um, because I Z'd my frame and the Z in the frame comes up here. Um, so basically it looked like that, kind of just a cutout. What I did is I took some metal and formed it around there and filled that area in so it's like a box a little bit. Um, now I just have to do that side. All I did was take a strip of metal, um, bend it over a little pipe on each end to the right length, and then just kind of stuck it in there and, uh, you know, fit it and welded it. Sanded it down, ground it down, whatever. And that's that. All right, got the other side fitted, welded, and uh, smoothed out. Okay, so I got the underside of the subframe all cleaned up. And what I decided to do was to put weld nuts on the bottom like these. Got these from McMaster. Um, weld them to the bottom so that I could use my quarter 20 screws on the floorboards without having to have a nut and stuff on the underside of the car. And then I countersunk a hole in my plywood floors so the head of the screw would be flush. And I did that uh, for all the floorboards. So now all I got to do is wipe down the bottom of the subframe and it's ready to paint. But that's for another day. Alright, well I have all the bottom all prepped, sanded, 
wipe down and all that. I also, <clears throat> all the areas that I didn't um, prep and prime before, I went ahead and took care of those. The cross member, um, added a little filler here on the bottom of the A pillars where I did my patches. Um, the front here I had painted or primed earlier with just a brush just to stop all the rust. So I sanded that smooth. I'm going to spray that so that looks a little better. Uh, so next is to spray the primer. Okay, well that pretty much sucked, but I got it done. All underneath was the bad part, but everything's in epoxy primer. Alright, well, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.